Hey, this is Alicia and welcome to the STEM Girls. Making math so easy that even a baby could do it. Isn't that right? And today we're doing the chain rule. The chain rule is basically used for differentiating compositions of functions or you could say a function of a function. So we look at f and g as layers to the problem. Function f would be the outside of the layer and the function g would be the inner layer. The rule basically tells us to differentiate the outer layer, leaving the inner layer the same, and then differentiate the inner layer g. And don't worry if you didn't get that. Together we'll work through some problems and then hopefully it'll be a lot more easier. Okay, so let's just look at this first example here. So what we have to do is we have to differentiate y equals 2x plus 4 squared. And if we did this normally, it's doable but it would take a while. So now all we need to do with this is separate it into outer layer and inner layer. Outer layer would be the squared and the inner layer would be the 2x plus 4. What we do is differentiate the outer layer, leaving the inner layer the same and then we would differentiate the inner layer. So let's go through it then. So what differentiation is, is you times it by the power and then you reduce the power by one. So if we times it by the power, that would be two. Remembering to leave the inside the same, so that would still be two x plus four and we reduce the power by one our first thing would be 2 times 2x plus 4 and the 1 would just cancel out. And now what we would do is we would differentiate the 2x plus 4, so the inner part. The 2x would just become a 2 because you times it by the power and we reduce that power so the x would go. Differentiation, the constant just goes. So that would just be 2. Now all we need to do is times the two functions together. So the answer would just be 4 brackets 2x plus 4. And you know, something that I like to do when I figure out the answer is just to do a bit of a victory dance. The victory dance. I know, I can't dance. I'm sorry. I'll save you the pain. And let's move on to another quick example. Okay, so this example, y equals square root of 15x squared minus 5. It's a bit more complicated, but the same concepts are again used. So what we see is a function of two compositions. The outer function would be the square root, and the inner function would be the 15x squared minus 5. So using the same principles again, so we would change it into a more manageable form, which is 15x squared minus 5 to the power of a half. So differentiating the outside part and keeping the inside part the same, we would get half on the outside, the 15x squared minus 5 would be the same and then a half minus 1 would be minus a half and now we would differentiate the inside 15x squared minus 5 differentiate would just be 30 because it would be the 2 times the 15 the constant would cancel out and so would the x now that we've differentiated the two different compositions, our final step is just timesing the two together. So after timesing them, just to neaten it up a bit, I've just put it over a fraction. So now we would get 30x over 2 brackets 15x minus 5 to the power of a half. And now we can neaten that up even more by turning the half into a square root. So the final answer that we would get would be 30x over 2 to the square root of 15x minus 5. And the two things that I would tell you to take away from this video would be to first of all, remember to use the chain rule whenever you see a composition of functions and you have to differentiate them. And second of all, remember to separate the composition of functions into an outer function and an inner function and to differentiate them separately. Hopefully that made the chain rule that little bit much more easier. So what I'm going to do is link below some harder examples of using the chain rule and hopefully that will help. Thanks for watching. Bye.